Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Um, I can't believe we're already into Tuesday. The week's rolling. <sighs> I have one piece of advice. If you are struggling with anything, whether it's personal, financial, family stuff, things at work, um, if you feel really hopeless, if you're experiencing hopelessness, if you are having a hard time getting up in the morning, bitch, that's normal. And don't let anyone else tell you that your feelings aren't okay or try to invalidate what you're going through because we all have different struggles and sometimes we forget that sometimes people are afraid to be really brutally honest and i'm someone who just lets it all out and 2019 has been one of the craziest and most trying for me personally but the best for business and it's like so many life lessons and um, I don't take for granted anything I never have and I never will and they these last four months have been so so trying and some of the most difficult I have ever experienced but we have to not let it consume us and that's I think been my problem in the past is how do you find the happiness through all the darkness that's the biggest question for me it's been so hard in the mornings me and nathan have been so just our lives turned upside down um every routine everything we do is different you know it's like waking up and feeding four dogs and not six was so traumatizing the first time around like with diamond and now removing two bowls and only having four like it's all these things letting them outside the sounds of their barks not being there like it's fucking rough and i think that sometimes people are afraid to say that it's rough but it is we're all going through different shit and bitch it's fucking rough right now um so if you're going through something else right now all we wanted to do is share that you're not alone and that's how I feel right now. And if you're going through it right now, I get it. And um, uh, there are, just a quick side note, I know there are so many of you that have questions, that have a lot of comments about episode two, the secrets of the beauty world. I'm sorry I haven't chimed in yet. Um, I've been on Twitter the last hour trying to answer some questions because I know so many of you have so much feedback, a lot to say. There were... A lot of truths revealed, so many things uncovered, and the industry is shook. Like, <laughs> I know I haven't uploaded in a few weeks. You guys know I will be back. I just really need this time right now, and I can't imagine sitting down and filming a video this week. Um, I really can't. But a lot of shit is happening behind the scenes. Brand owners getting crazy. People shook that we're revealing things. People questioning our numbers. Like, baby, everything is 100% authentic. And I know that's why people are scared. But we made this docu-series to really unveil and pull the curtain out. But this beauty world is stale. It's time to shake things up. And I'm willing to take that risk. A lot of people don't. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to deal with any type of thing that comes with exposing things telling the truth a lot of people get nervous a lot of people are on edge and it just feels right it's time and i think unless you have the balls something like this maybe is not for them right but i think that it's necessary and if people are scared that means you're on the right path to something so the makeup world is about to be revolutionized once again and a lot more will be revealed so just thank you to everyone who's watched so far we're only two episodes in like can you imagine we have like seven or eight more like hi <laughs>